I can't find a scripture I want either. Oh, yeah, it's evading. It's Matthew 9. What's good, bro? What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> Matthew 9. Huh? Must be moving. Yeah. Matthew 9 and 13. But go and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I'm, I'm not called to call, I'm not come to call the righteous, but the sinners to repentance. Oh yeah, so uh, yeah, we we not here to go find other righteous people. We are here to bring sinners to repentance. So that's so that's why. Uh, well, sometimes like you gotta kick it with some grimy people, or we gotta talk to them to convert them. You know what I mean? So that's why you gotta come out here and talk to people. You know what I mean? We not here just like like the churches. They claim they're all righteous, right? But they go inside of a building every week and preach to each other. It's like that all we're not out here preaching to the choir. I'm not just gonna go like go to his house every day and just teach him every day. He already knows the truth. But that's why you got a lot of people do it. You know what I mean? They don't wanna go find new people to teach. They don't wanna go do the work. What the fuck? Sirach 35 and 2. He, well, I'm going to start at 1. He that keepeth the law bringeth offering enough. He that taketh heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. He that requiteth a good turn offereth flying flower. He that giveth alms sacrifice praise. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. To forsake unrighteousness. Hey, you see that? To depart from wickedness was what? It's pleasing to the Lord. It's pleasing to the Lord. So you're supposed to. When you hear this word, you're supposed to depart from wickedness. I hear going in people's houses, robbing people, stealing, doing all this wicked shit, committing adultery, okay, uh, fucking eating pork, not following the dietary laws and all that. Because you are supposed to keep the law, but I mean, it don't save you. What's up? How y'all doing? Hey, take what I can get. It says... And to forsake unrighteousness is a pro preparation. Thou shalt not appear or empty before the Lord. See, he's saying, if you do these things, it's like it's, it's like as you as as if you sacrifice and praises to the Lord. It's as, as as if you sacrifice something that that a uh, a preparation. I, I can't pronounce the word. A pro pro preparation. Pro propitiation. Yeah, ain't it like when you like when they sacrifice something? Animal and they, you know, well, yeah, because the Lord is our propitiation. Yeah, so that's so doing the work or you know, having faith and you know, second evil. That's that's enough. I mean, not saying you can't not keep the, don't keep the law. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that you got you got both. You got faith in uh, uh, the law. It's together. I'm saying it takes faith to part to depart from evil. Yep. Because if 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 uh, if fear moves you, okay, say. Say if there was a woman that has a man and you didn't know at first and then y'all, you know, and she she's on to you, you know, she she's you know ready to get down right there. It takes faith to be like, oh no, fuck that shit. I can't do that because if I do that, the Lord gonna kill me. Yeah, like, you know, and you just know it's shit's fucking wrong. Yeah, yeah cause you cause the, you, all right, cause you know if you do something wrong, it's gonna come back on you. The Lord's gonna fuck you up. It takes faith. It don't take the law to know that. It takes the faith. It does you, take faith to know that. Cause it's like you gotta believe that okay if I do this it's wrong if I do this it's right or whatever you know whatever you know whatever right you gotta believe it first I got I, you got something you still reading that uh uh what we got there alright read the rest of that I can get this it says the offering of the righteous make up the arts of fat and the sweet savor thereof is before the most high the sacrifice of a just man is acceptable Memorial there else should not be forgotten. Right, and our sacrifice now is coming out here. Because back in the old days, like during that time, they had to actually give up actual sacrifice. That's done away. So now this is the sacrifice. We're doing this work. Sacrificing ourselves. Just like the Lord sacrificed himself. That's that unblemished lamb. That's why he's called the Lamb of God. You know what I mean? Because he's the unblemished. He was perfect. So that was a perfect offering. That's terrible. 
That motherfucker was goofy. Is, it, is that the rest of that you had? Yeah. Good. It's uh, Colossians uh, two and eleven. And whom? Oh, shit. And whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Yahweh Shai. Buried with him in baptism, wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of the Most High who hath raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins, right, because you dead, we're dead in our sins. Because without Yahweh Shai, without, like you say in the faith, you dead. So if you, if you was, because what is a sin? Hey, that's an Israelite one-on-one -on -one scripture, right? What's the sin? First John three or four, right? Uh, keeping the law, that that's sin. I mean, breaking the law. Yeah, transgression. Yeah, tra yeah, transgression of the law. I mean, the Torah, the Old Testament. Transgression of the law is sin. And you know, all the Israelites. But you got these Israelites who say you get uh, saved by keeping the law. But this says right here that you was dead in your sins. Huh? You was dead in, you know what I mean? So how do you break that one down? <laughs> oh, this is loud ass bus, man. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you of all trespasses. Right, because if you, the Lord didn't forgive us of our trespasses, what happened? So if I had sex before, like adultery, oh, if you, if, even still, if you have sex with a woman right now, say you're in the truth and everything, and you find a new woman, you find a new wife, and if she's not a virgin, guess what? You committed adultery, and you, and you gotta get put to death. So you gonna tell me all these uh, Israelites to keep the law perfectly, all their women were virgins, right? So IUIC got all virgins when all their women all virgins when they got them right. I don't think so. All y'all, because if they're not, you're guilty of death. You gotta get put to death. According to the law, if not, you breaking the law. You know what I mean? So all, because all, all, man, all these women are whores. Ain't none of these women virgin. You'd be lucky to get a virgin. So according to the law, if you having sex with a woman who's already had a man, that's adultery. And that's punishable by death. So that's why we dead in our sins. That's why the Lord came to, to save us from our sins. See that? That motherfucker's a dumb. What's up? Uh, a lot of these guys, man, a lot of you Israelites, y'all just a bunch of fucking weirdos anyway. A bunch of weirdos, assholes. You always get these people, they want to control people. Teach you some bullshit, control you. They ain't no different in the churches. There's a bunch of whacked out people. I seen another group teaching about mermaids too. I seen somebody teaching this mermaids and shit. What the fuck? Man? That's why the only group you can listen to on the internet is Great Millstone. Don't even watch no other Israelite video. Don't watch, you know what I mean? Don't, just stay away from that shit. Or get on a comic board and laugh at them, you know what I mean? Great Millstones are the only ones that are teaching the Bible properly. IUIC's not teaching it properly. Sakari's not teaching it properly. ISU PK's not teaching it properly. What's some other clowns that's out there? Outside body, they, they full of shit. The one body. One body, what's it called? One body. body outside. This is garbage. Y'all is garbage. Fuck out of here with that weak shit. Uh, man, but look. Uh, second Colossians 2 and 14. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. How the hell do I hear that scripture? Hey, the Baptists, and then they, they abuse this scripture. They'll be like, I'm like, Pastor Jim. Oh, that's, you know, Jim Brown. I be, I used to get uh, in uh, wars and battles with Jim Brown. 
He, he's popular on YouTube. He's an old man. He gets so mad at me, you think he's gonna have a heart attack. He, he'd send me a fucking email this damn long. He'd be like, you yeah, son of a bitch. <laughs> well, he won't cuss, though. He, uh, he, he wants to cuss. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he said. I'm like, man, you don't have a bitch. I'd get on him for not keeping the law. But I'm not being a hypocrite, because you're not supposed to shave your beard off. You're not supposed to do that. You can't just say, all oh, the beards were nailed to the cross. It's like, come on, you know, that was not nailed to the cross. It's not hard to grow a beard out. You know what I mean? Because if, if you can't keep the law, you can keep it, but we know it doesn't save us. But why would you want to go shave your beard off and look like a woman? Because there's this meme going around on the internet. It's like we have a name for people without beards. You know what they're called? What? Women. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's a woman. We have a name for that. It's called a woman. But I got on Jim Brown for not having a beard. He, he oh, that's his scripture. Oh, that was nailed to the cross. But with nailed to the cross, we do get forgiven for stuff. You know what I mean? If we fuck up and do something bad, yeah, that was nailed to the cross. Like, like we got to work on the Sabbath a lot. That's nailed to the cross. We ain't got no control over that. We live in uh, Esau's kingdom. You know what I mean? We live in Satan's kingdom. We can't follow all the ordinances and commandments like we want to. You know what I mean? But the, the, the commandments say on the Passover, you're supposed to take blood from the lamb and put it on your doorpost. Now, not, some people do it. I used to do it if I could. It like, depends on where I'm living, right? But you, can, you can't go be throwing blood on your doorpost. Hey, they're going to call the cops on you. They're going to think somebody got killed up in there. What if you're in an apartment complex, putting blood all up on your door? Even though you're supposed to do that. But we see we can't keep the law perfect like we, like we need to. And that's why the Lord said that I was nailed to the cross. And it would be a son of a boy or whatever fuck from your lamb from your, from your farm. Oh, yeah. It's got to be a kid without blemish. Yes, I bet you. They don't call that perfectly. Oh, oh hell no. We're not wearing all of our clothes made of the same fabric. We're breaking that law. That's hard to do that, you know what I mean? You know, you know, you can't even trust where this shit came from. Like, even when you eat the food in the stores, you don't know what's on. You look on the back of the ingredients of food, it's like a science experiment. All the food was made in a laboratory. You can't even pronounce half the words on there. You know, you know that, that's probably, I'm sure all of that's against the law to eat. But uh, where did that go? And uh, blotting out the handwriting. This is Second Colossians two and fourteen. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out the way, nailing it to his cross. And have because right because we committed adultery before, so the Lord has forgiven us of that. You know what I mean? All anything that you did before you woke up to the truth, the Lord will forgive you that. Anything you do. When you're in the truth, the Lord gonna forgive you. Unless you out here just being a demon, obviously. If you out here calling yourself a teacher, a prophet, and you out here committing adultery, that is not nailed to the cross. That's a getting nailed to your to your skull. It getting destroyed and get the shit beat out of you. That's what's gonna to happen to you. Yeah. Uh, let's say don't use your don't use your uh, your, uh, your liberty. Yeah, no. Yeah, don't don't use don't abuse the world or something. Yeah, not through over. What well, I was thinking a different. One. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> I was. You look like some cool, nice people. Yeah, I'd rather hang out with the Chinese people than most uh, Americans. You know what I mean? They give me the. They're all quiet, and respectful. Who would you rather be around, a Chinese woman or the Israelite woman? Fuck the Israelite Yeah, fuck that. This is too rowdy. You seen the one that was up here earlier? Sound like a demon. Sound like a fucking... This is evil, man. Hey, sucky, sucky, fucky, fucky. Love you long time. 
so they be acting acting like they only the club they came on earth. That's what I mean. I'm telling them do look like white girls and shit. Mad and shit. Come on. I wouldn't do that. These white bitches is fucking nasty too. Especially all the white, I'm talking about the white Israelite bitches, the light skin. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's nice all day right there. Man, I'm talking about the bitches, like in the hood. Yeah, oh, fuck them. Hey, they just the same as, it, as the Judite woman. Fuck, they probably related. Yeah, they are the Judite woman. Yeah, they are the Judite. They have to be. They got the same fucking spirit. Always yelling, loud. Like my baby's mama, bitch was crazy. Break every dish in the house, bust out the windows, slash her tires. You know what I mean? Yeah, bitches are fucking crazy, bro. And then they'll call the cops on you. They'll they'll beat the shit out of you, chase you with a knife, and then they'll call the cops on you and say that you hit them. Oh, what, bitch? And they'll take you to jail. Fuck these women, man. That's why we take these Edomite women. You see how nice the Edomite women 